So it has a rhinestone lace down it and uh, beads. So I have to cut it in such a way that. I think I will. I think she's too beautiful. Okay? I know you think she's sweet as candy. I know you want to be with her. But Josie got a reputation to scratch behind that fur. She's got her little game perfected She'll let you think you have control And then one day when you least expect it She'll steal away your soul It's so easy when you think you're winning But she's got herself another plan Don't think you're being clever like a modern man But Josie has the upper hand I'm about to do six pieces again. I know you guys love my six pieces. This, I want to show you how I cut on on pattern fabric. You can see this is Indian George. It has pattern down. So please pay attention and don't touch the bag. The length of my skirt is 44. Take down my tape. I want to do six pieces. This is six pieces on pattern fabric. You can see my Indian George. So it has a rhinestone lace down it and uh, beads. So I have to cut it in such a way that all the pattern will come at the headline of my six pieces skirt. So please don't go away. Stay tuned till the end of this video and please subscribe to my channel. My client's length is 44. So this is my 44. I don't have to add any um, allowance. But I'll have to add any allowance down here. But I'll have to add half inch by the waistline. So I'll now do it 44 and half. That is my... Okay, so I mark, then the hip line is at 10, and the knee line is at 20. I'll have to use my long ruler and mark it throughout, so that it will be visible to your eyes. This is knee line, this is hip line, and this is the waist line. This is the hem line, knee line, hip line, and the waist line. So the first thing I mark is the waist. Her that should be five. By the hip, I do it five plus seam allowance is five and a half because my client is orobokable. So this is five and a half. When I come to this place, the waistline, I do it four and a half. So I deducted her one inch from here. So five and a half, four and a half. Then I carry this four and a half down to the knee length and I mark and down here. I'll do nine. So look at me as I join like this. Join. Then with my free hand, I love free handing knots. And I join. I am done with the center. I'll now do the sides. Look at the way I do it. If my tip, my my ruler, place it and get a straight line. This is this will be my starting point for the sides. Okay. So my client's hip is my client's hip is uh, fifty two. Wow, she's big, really big. So 52 
divided by 2 will give us 26. This 26 now, the first 26 is for front and the other 26 is for back. So, we are now using 26 to draft the front pattern. Now, I have 11 here. That is 5 and half. Remember, the half inch is for seam allowance. It's remaining 10. The actual measurement for the hip now is 10. So, from this 26, you minus 10 to give you 16. That remaining 16 is for the sides, the left and the right. So, 16 divided by 2 will give us what? 8. Okay, that's from my students. I have 8. And I, I on this 8 now, I have to add a half inch seam allowance for the sides. That is 8 and half. And I add one and a half inch for shaping. That is uh, 10 inches. So I have another 10. I mark. As I mark 10 here, I'll come to the waist and mark 9. I remove 1 inch. And I'll come to the knee line and also mark 9. You see how simple my six pieces is? Please share my link to your friends i know you like the way i do my six pieces so and on this line i have to measure out 15 or let me use a 17. so i join isn't that simple now it is cutting time. You can see it how it's looking. Raise here. You're seeing it. This is my six pieces. My six pieces pattern. Look at how it will look after sewing. So I've placed. I want to cut the back pattern. By the hip, I usually add half inch, and I call this bomb bomb allowance. And by this side, I add one inch. It's bomb bomb allowance also. Then by this side, it must be one and half inch, one and half. One inch. This is my back piece. You can see that anafema. You can see that here is longer, but I want to make it uh, to come up a bit, so I'll have to dart it. And this is the way I dart. I'll cut it now to show you how it looks. So let me cut the, the center back piece so that you're going to appreciate it. So this is how I got. See it? So when I'm cutting the, you have to sew and top stitch on it. So when I'll be cutting the sides, I'll make sure that this side is of this length. So this is my back piece. Time to place the side and get my pattern, the side pattern. So this is the tail side and this is the shaping side. So you can see how I made here to be equal and here is longer. So I'll now draw, draw, everything is equal. And here everything is equal except here then when I come to the waist because of my client's shape I'll have to add one inch by this side so I cross so this is the pattern you can see the difference 